Hello, hello, mate. Good to have you. Good to have you on the show, mate. How long have we been recording? We see a lot of metalcore bands, but more importantly, out of the communities and YouTubers that have grown in the metalcore scene, we see a select few of them actually make music of their own. I think it's really cool that the people that are growing because of this music have now contributed to the, the scene itself. So it's kind of cool to see the growth and the full circle here. But there's a lot of YouTubers out there that actually do make their own music. And I kind of wanted to just go on a tangent, go into a deep dive and look at some of the youtubers that have made music all right let's just let's start so obviously the main one nicky nick he has a band called Termina, as well as some other personal stuff too. So Nick is making a ton of music all over the place. I actually reacted to one of Nick's uh, songs on the channel before, but I haven't heard mo most of the album. I've heard a couple songs here and there. I just never got around to listening to the whole thing. So I think it'd be cool to kind of just check it out. Errors of the past. Ooh. I heard a lot of heavy stuff from them already, so I kind of want to hear something a little more on the chill side, and this is definitely giving that vibe. But it might throw us in a little bit. Okay. Yeah, we got chill. This is great. All the flowers are with the rain, in the river ah! Chorus. Give me a nice chorus. Just... The singer, what's his name? Ah, I know him. I follow him on Twitch. Andy. Andy Sizek. I think that's how you say it. Andy has a very similar tone to like uh, Sam, Architect's tone. It's very high, high register, and he has that really nice, solid fry scream. In terms of Nick's guitar playing, he knows what he's doing. He's a freaking beast. But I like how, how much inspiration he's pulling from a lot of the bands that I just genuinely listen to on the daily. It's kind of a blend. I mean, it's, it's just a, a really good standard metalcore sound. <laughs> Oh, oh, that is a sexy solo. Oh, we got era vibes now. Oh, this is dope. That was so cool. I love when bands do guitar solos. It's not that often, but when it does, when it happens, ooh! -woo. I know uh, Andy has another band as well that's also really good. I'll leave a, a link down to all of the people I'm reacting to down below. But yeah, Termino is just like a really solid band. I've heard of them before. It's nothing really new, but it's just a really solid band. If you want to check them out, heck yeah! Obviously, I had to start off with Nick, but now let's dive into some of the more like branched off. A lot of these are still really popular. There's like a few small ones from the reaction slash metalcore content. These are like the biggest ones. I think it's only fair that we react to Andrew Bain. He has a band called Carcosa. He doesn't have the official music on his channel. I'll have to. Oh, it's on Slam Worldwide. I no, I have not heard. Ooh, this one looks cooler though. I like the the look of that thumbnail. This is more not really on the metalcore side. It's more on the deathcore. I think is the right genre. I don't know. There's so many subgenres to metalcore nowadays. I I just I just call it heavy stuff. This is heavy stuff. Oh. <laughs> this is the power of an eight string guitar. Seven string, you can do a lot of heavy stuff. But once you add that one extra string, it's a whole nother level. Ooh. Uh. Oh, that's gross. Oh my God. What the? Oh my god. When he's singing and doing his Carcosa stuff, he, l he looks like the bear and the revenant ready to rip me to shreds. It's terrifying. Oh. 
Give me a jab. Give me a jab. Give me a jab. <laughs> oh god, I'm not ready. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's very cool. Very. Cool. Nick is here. Let's we'll see if he's on the other ones that we watch. <laughs> he's everywhere. Next up, we have a. Uh, I'd consider him a legend at this point in the in the YouTube metal core scene, or at least in the the heavy metal metal scene. Jared Dines. He's been around for so long. Uh, when did they? When did he start this channel? 2010. He's been around for over 10 years. He's made a whole bunch of videos. He's contributed so much he does a lot of cool stuff and he actually has a band now he's had a few projects before but the one that i want to check out is with the singer from the original singer from kill switch engage it's scion right Sion. yeah here we go Yeah, this definitely feels more along the lines of the old school metalcore. Circle pit. Circle pit, come on. You already know. You already know. Ah, oh, those vocals are clean! Oh, this is like almost nostalgic in a way. Oh, it's so cool to hear him because I, I know he is no longer a part of Killswitch Engage or I, from my understanding, I think that's how I, what I've been told. His vocals are so unique and I'm kind of sad that I haven't listened to or followed his career that as much as I should. And it's especially cool to see someone made their way through YouTube actually doing stuff with people from the scene that they were inspired with from growing up. It's a really big accomplishment for Jared Dines and how far he's actually gotten. And it's definitely an inspiration to a lot of the young YouTubers out there, including myself, trying to put their name out there in the metalcore scene. And I feel like he's finally breaching that whole YouTube aspect and being known for more than just a YouTuber, which is really cool and it's not necessarily a bad thing but it's cool to be recognized in different ways ah <laughs> this is so fun outro intro riff I get Yeah, that's really dope. Super dope, actually. Dare I say, incredibly dope? As I start to do more videos like this, where I kind of cover mass amounts of content in one short sort of style video, this is not the typical reaction content. This is not gonna be all my content. When I did the baby metal video, some of you were concerned. Some of you wanted me to react to like the songs in full. And while I would love to do that, and I will still do that, when covering a lot of topics like this, I wanna mash them all in as short as possible. So yeah, the normal full length reactions will not end. Um, just letting you know. No, for this type of like more broad content, it will be a little more different in style. Uh, moving on! He hasn't posted in a long time. Everyone who's anyone has seen a video of his at some point. He makes the best content and I believe he has, yeah, he has some original stuff. I think the coolest thing about uh, watching these type of uh, artists or bands or YouTubers, their content can feel so unique and different compared to what they're making music and what they actually put their serious efforts in because while they put a lot of effort into like the regular content don't get me wrong there's like a different 
tone when it comes to their music. It's more professional, it's more serious. It's a cool contrast detaching themselves from the serious part so they can just enjoy the fun stuff. <laughs> I think I've heard this one, but it's been a really long time since I have, I think. Oh! The silence still! <laughs> Hold on. Oh, it's not over. Do we get heavy now? Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> oh, K Meg. Hey man, god dang! I'm getting like North Lane vibes right now. Take the blade and the sky. Oh my! Oh! <laughs> I was. I was <laughs> This is what I'm saying. K-Mac is, is a meme lord. He knows how to make the funny. And then he makes stuff like this. That's just so cinematic and beautiful and heavy. I want to do just like some honorable mentions of really small bands that are, are making music and doing stuff like that. Check them out if you like them. Follow them. Do whatever. Listen. Just listen to their music. Here are the honorable mentions. One that actually really blew me away. In her tomb by the sounding sea. He's from France, I think. I think the first video I saw was a Alpha Wolf cover that was really good, and then I heard his Periphery Loon cover that was just oh there's a part in there that if you watch it you'll know what i'm talking about it's just so clean but he has his own music as well the perfect place for my burial is honestly such a good song definitely check it out okay and house kagan houseman i don't know if he's necessarily on the smaller side he has 36,000 subscribers he's way bigger than i am right now but he has some really cool stuff and i just found out about him recently and his guitar work is absolutely phenomenal so if you want to check him out uh definitely do so he's freaking dope this band is not as good as the other ones they're kind of whack but at the same time they they have some interesting stuff going on you know vocalist is kind of whack but this band called wave of discord i don't know if you've heard of them but maybe if, if you could go little give them a listen and maybe buy their merch because that would really support me i mean them overall i think it's safe to say that there's a lot of youtubers out there that are genuinely contributing to the metalcore scene and i think that's a really awesome thing to do it's just a great opportunity for people to listen to more music and for new artists to form in uh different ways that are not really the conventional ways if i missed any youtubers that make music leave a comment down below let me know what i missed or let me know if i did a good job or if i am just the poo poo head. That's gonna be it for the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Forty minutes I've been recording. Forty minutes.